So yet again, Eufy is facing a criticism regarding their security, and you've got to ask the question, what exactly are they doing? Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm taking a look into a uh, Eufy security slash data issue that's come to light. Uh, somebody commented about this on one of my Eufy videos, you know, was I uh, aware of this? You know, it's a really uh, recent issue that's come to light. And um, basically it's uh, a, a guy called Paul Moore. Um, he's gone and he's this kind of like security researcher, analyst, consultant type person. He's gone and bought himself a Eufy uh, doorbell and uh, he's discovered uh, some kind of like leaking of personal information, I guess, is, uh, is one way of explaining this against what Eufy actually promotes as part of the devices. So what exactly is the issue? Um, well, basically what Paul has gone and found, and you know, obviously you can go and watch his video, uh, you know, it is quite a technical thing. You, lots of tools being used there, um, you know, to help kind of like prove this point and everything. Um, but it is a good watch. Um, but basically, what seems to be happening is that um, when Eufy, you know, records a clip, you know, somebody presses your doorbell, um, you know, it will take a photograph, as you know, those users of the doorbells probably are aware. It will take a photograph of whoever is at the door, and um, it sends it up to the cloud. You know, it, Eufy uses AWS as their cloud uh, services, and it sends it up there uh, for the storage. So. Um, it also takes a bit of a pre-image as well, so a, a kind of like an image before that, uh, which is a bit worrying um, why it's needing to do that, but it sends that up as well. Um, these images are completely unencrypted. Uh, they are effectively tagged to identify the user as well, uh, which is even more worrying. And you know, the in, as you, you know, you'll see in Paul's video, you know, the URL. Uh, is basically based off of uh, your serial number for your uh, your doorbell uh, or your Eufy device. So you know it's even though it's got some random parameters there, these are things which are quite easily reverse reversible. They're using relatively weak encryption. Uh, I think somebody's actually been able to find uh, one of the encryption keys uh, for it as well. So you know if you bought a Eufy doorbell, um, you know or Eufy products, you see on the packaging. You know, military grade encryption, uh, you know, local storage, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, basically, that's a load of rubbish. Um, so, you know, they've been found out. Now, in theory, what they're trying to do here by send, you know, taking that image and sending it to the cloud, this is to enable, you know, if you've got push notifications enabled, which most users will have, um, you know, this is a net to enable the thumbnail uh, in the push notification to be, you know, so you can see who's at the door. The big issue here, apart from the other two that I've gone and mentioned, is the fact that they don't tell you uh, that your data is being sent to the cloud. Now, as I say, in theory, you know, that's one way that you would do this. You know, if you're going to do that, you'd probably go and encrypt all of this stuff. So, you know, Yuffie's come out and said, you know, that well, this is all following. Google's and um, you know Apple standards for push notifications. So you know, I'm sure there's probably a lot of companies out there at the moment that have got doorbells and similar kinds of products that are all very very quickly um, you know, kind of like looking into how they're actually handling this uh, this data um, because I'm sure they're probably doing the same as well. Uh, you know if you've got those uh, images in your notifications. So the issues here. Uh, a lot of them fall around the level of trust and what Eufy is saying and what users are actually getting. So, you know, when a user rightfully buys a product, that, then they expect it to be local storage and nothing's going to the cloud, which a lot of users actually, you know, want to do that. You know, I don't use Eufy's uh, cloud subscription service, so I expect my data to stay on my home base. That is clearly not the case and Eufy has failed to communicate that to its users. So what is Eufy's response to this? Well, their initial kind of thing, you know, typical Eufy is, you know, bury your head in the sand, you know, you push them a bit harder and then you start to get, you know, support agents responding about it. So, um, you know, their initial thing is, is, you know, they were aware of this 
and uh, you know they're going to you know, utilize home base three local storage you know as some kind of solution for this so uh, yeah screw you home base two users because uh, you don't matter and you can buy a new home base three um, yeah that, not great Ufi you know come up with a different solution um, you know they've gone and pushed out you know obviously via their legal department um, you know were following all the apples and google's guidelines for doing push notifications and the way that's working um you know everything's encrypted you know you have to be a logged in user and all that kind of stuff which clearly you know it's been proven you don't have to um you know the they also said you know we're going to reword the wording in the application to make it clearer that your some of your data is going to get pushed into the cloud to um, enable to, or facilitate uh, functionality in the application. Um, hopefully, you know they won't cock that up, and will actually give the users, um, you know, the ability to decline that uh, and not just have an OK button in the application. Um, but you know, it is a worrying trend uh, for Ufi. I think uh, you know they've had lots of security issues and. Uh, you know, for me, um, this next one that Paul has gone and found, which he's not demonstrated, uh, you know, reproduction steps on this, but he has tweeted about this, uh, is that he has been able to remotely view and play footage off of Ufi devices via VLC player. Um, now, you know, I'm assuming he's not uh, giving reproduction steps on that because he's giving Yuffie the opportunity to actually go and correct that because you know those of you who have had Yuffie devices for a few years will recall uh, the um, the fiasco uh, not so long ago where Yuffie devices had a similar kind of thing you know people were able to uh, view other people's uh, uh, footage which Yuffie did fix um, but you know as I say this is a worrying trend you know that they're, they're not taking security seriously despite what they go and put on their packaging despite what they say on their website you know, I think at this moment in time uh, you know I, I just get the feeling that people have lost faith in Ufi and uh, you know <laughs> effectively these are just toys you know that's that, that's what they're becoming you know I don't see you know all these other manufacturers uh, you know with all these other security issues and things like that um, you know yes they have their own issues you know quality issues and things like that but security seems to be a real problem with Ufi and uh, you know I think they need to take a, a long hard look at the engineering team and uh, you know see what what skill set they've got on that team that uh, enables them to deliver a secure product and rebuild that faith in the customer base you know they make good products um, but unfortunately they have uh, appalling communication and a, a, a complete lack of um, direction in terms of how security should be done so you know i still use the ufi doorbell i don't use any of their cameras anymore i've moved on to another manufacturer um, will i change from the doorbell well you know i'm certainly going to have a look at what's available in the marketplace Obviously, last time I looked at uh, doorbells, you know, the range isn't that great. Eufy was the major player, I would say, for, for features and price and functionality, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I guess, you know, it's your own personal choice on this. You know, it, on the grand scheme of things, you might just think, well, you know, I'm not particularly fussed about that. You know, it's, it, it's just a doorbell and, you know, I'm not bothered, um, you know, what, what's going up into the cloud. Maybe you already use the cloud already. I think the big question mark here is uh, this puts a huge level of doubt into people's minds as to how seriously Eufy is taking uh, security with the, uh, in quotes, security products. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comments, uh, you know, your thoughts on this. You know, this has gone into quite a big, um, you know, kind of like a, a whirlwind thing, you know, in, in, in terms of news. But... You know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.